What's the difference between this and this? Both of the snippets are played by a bassoon using a sample library that sounds like they're sitting in an orchestral hall playing an expressive melody line. They both got this smooth buttery long notes with legato transitions and vibrato, right? And they're also throwing in some short notes, staccatissimo, repetition, staccatos, that add some rhythmic flair to the mix. Now here's the deal, the main difference. One of these two is painstakingly MIDI programmed, switching articulations from legato to shorts, various lengths, manually nudging legato timings and compensating sample delay, adjusting individual note velocities to match the intensity of the short note attacks to that of the long notes. And the other one was recorded in one go. Just playing it as is. No fancy programming stuff, no articulations at all. That one we will look at today. VWINS Double Reads by Acoustic Samples. VWINS Double Reads is one of those model sample libraries that basically use crazy algorithms and stuff to make it easy to play and super flexible. It's a pretty wild side effect that barely needs any RAM, unlike those traditional sample libraries that eat up gigabytes of space. Same for the file size, 700 megabytes versus 10, 20, 50 gigabytes? So what can these 700 megabytes of pure sampling power really achieve? Acoustic Samples proudly boasts its ultra-realistic sound examples and comparisons to real recordings on their website. And yeah, though model sample libraries often lack in organic timbre and character, right from the first load-up on, VWIN's double reads sounds pretty impressive. The library is priced at 199 euros regular price, by the way, and provides not a complete win section, but as its name unmistakably suggests, all the double read instruments of an orchestral woodwind section. An oboe, English horn, bassoon, and contrabassoon. For the oboe, English horn and bassoon, a complete second set of samples is included, played by a different musician. This way you get some choice in timbre and feel for your soloists and you can create your own two player sections for an orchestral ensemble. VWINS Double Reads does not use contact, but runs instead in the UVI Workstation 3. Okay, I've never used that one before. Anyway, you get a free copy of it with your VWINS purchase and it's no big deal for me, despite not having used it before. Just load it up as you would with contact and you're ready to go. It just works. VWINS Double Reads greets us with a clean and straightforward user interface and three main commands. Vibrato, controlled with CC11 or expression. Dynamics via CC1, so the mod wheel. and the virtual space that we will talk about very soon. The main difference of WeWin's double reads to the UI of most other sample libraries I have, and probably the same goes for you, is that there is no articulation window to manage. There are no articulations to manage. Instead, you simply play the instrument directly. Here, the flexibility of WeWin's double reads really shines through. Want to play a loud note? Simply press your MIDI controller harder. And for a short staccato note, a quick press will do the trick. Legato is of course achieved by overlapping notes. And of course with the module and expression you can shape the phrasing and vibrato of your melodies for a more nuanced performance.
The mix window provides access to three microphone positions, EQ, and reverb settings that enable you to place the instruments in various virtual environments, be it a grand orchestral hall or an intimate studio setting. What Lazy Me likes even better is the preset options that offer several studio and orchestra sounds with one click. Again, very easy to use, very flexible. But the best microphone and room setting is this, the virtual space. It's like a home studio conductor's dream. You got this virtual soundstage with chairs and simply click on a chair to seat your oboe, bassoon or whatever, wherever you want them. It reminds me a bit of Damage 2 Stage Matrix, just even more intuitive and satisfying. Move them around across the chairs, adjust the room size and stereo width, and you're the maestro of your woodwinds. Well, not all woodwinds, unfortunately, since it doesn't include flutes, piccolos, and clarinets. There's a ton of customizable settings in the Preferences section. I won't go over all of these, but one particular feature that I found helpful in my workflow is the control over legato transitions. In one example, I wanted to make the legato a bit more pronounced. So I made it that pretty much all notes trigger the glide and reduce the glide duration to something along 180 to 200 milliseconds to make it shorter. Turned out that the sort of portamento style glide also makes for a pretty decent legato transition if you want it more silky than the relatively tight default setting. You get full control over the vibrato, enabling the composer to decide when it engages, how strong or how fast it goes. This control is liberating, because often I can't really put in my video recordings precisely to my vision. But I sort of have to avoid the limitations of a pre-baked in vibrato in traditional sample libraries. Usually I don't care. Sometimes I do. And here, this is not an issue. Next to a ton of more options to tweak its sounds, WeWinds Double Reads includes an effects window where you can create your own effects chains. Reverbs, delays, EQs, filters, similar stuff that you can do with most contact sample libraries as well. I usually use my own processing chains with third party plugins, but this is good to have, I think. And there's an arpeggiator, I guess if you want to create patterns and get more creative with sound design. What I really like about WeWinds Double Reads in everyday use is the ability to adjust key clicks, noises and sounds. They can add layers of intimacy in close and direct melody lines, and I particularly like them in the controversy. Simply lower them if you don't want it. Again, great flexibility. Round robins can be activated to prevent the machine gun effect in repeated short notes. This is great, but don't expect VWinds Double Reads to give you all those fancy advanced articulations that you would find in a traditional flagship Woodwinds library. I mean those individually sampled trills or flutter tanks that sound so amazing in other libraries. They're not as impressive here. And if you need loads of round robins for those lightning fast, super accentuated lines, it will not deliver the same level of realism. <laughs> The illusion of the lively performance might lose some of its magic in those situations. And that's just the trade-off for that easy, no programming, just playing workflow. You can seamlessly switch between shorts and longs, legados, and even add a few quick ornament trills. But it's not a magic woodwind wand that can absolutely do everything. The instruments, especially when placed into one of those orchestral presets, sound organic. 
They sound like somebody is playing an oboe, a bassoon in an orchestral hall, sitting where you want them to sit. The organic sounds of the tongue playing the notes, the valve being pressed, and the attacks of release of short notes, the legato transitions, sound excellent, especially if you compare it to other model sample libraries. This one gets pretty darn close to the character of a fully recorded woodwinds library with dozens of gigabytes full of articulations and detail, despite it being so slim. It all feels seamless and honestly fun to play. Now let's state the obvious. It's a pity that Rewind's Double Reads doesn't contain flutes and clarinets to make the orchestral woodwind section package complete. I think it would be very nice if it could be marketed as a full orchestral woodwind section, but right now it can't. They decided to go for the double reed instruments probably because they work similarly in terms of timbre and processing and it all works better with their mathematical model and algorithms. Flutes and clarinets would, I guess, be different beasts to handle. It is great that you have two different versions, like even differently sampled versions of the same instruments for the oboe, the English horn and the bassoon to build an ensemble. There are no key switches, no expression maps that you need to buy for an easy articulation switching. It's all very straightforward and nice. Even the settings look much less convoluted and overwhelming than I've seen with other model sample libraries. This is where WeWin's Double Reads shines. It's straightforward. Play pretty much whatever you want and it will be able to play it the way you like. You want a tight close-up studio sound? No problem. Just make them sit on a chair in front of you or load one of the studio presets. Want a more orchestral sound? Sit them further back. I'm already often picking Vwin Stubber Reads in my projects over one of my flagship Woodwinds libraries. Whenever I need that straightforward flexibility to play something without having to switch articulations and just go for it. For steady lines, for example a repetition or staccatissimo only accompaniment, I would probably fall back to for example something like Cinematic Studio Woodwinds because I like the timbre of that one a bit more and it does a better job at round robins and advanced articulations. But when I need to record something just the way that I want it to, control the vibrato, mixing long and short notes with a fast result that's lightweight on my system, VWINS is my way to go. To me, VWINS Double Reads is a massive step into the right direction of sample library development, where it's pretty much plug and play. Play like you want, control the vibrato like you want, and it still sounds as if you have a real player in front of you. Now is this one for you? I would say, Check out the demos, watch some overview videos about the workflow and make up your own opinion. If you like the sound of Vwin's Double Reads, then I think this one will be a big winner for you with its fast, rewarding way to work with. I wrote a little demo with Vwin's Double Reads using only that library. Again, I didn't have to switch any articulations, tweak note timings or velocities and just recorded dynamics and vibrato at the same time. Subscribe for more high quality composer content and I will see you soon. Thank you.